This is Aaron here. I'm getting ready to uh, work on this gooseneck trailer here. Um, I'm with AK Road Service. I mainly do services on 18 wheelers, their trailers, gooseneck trailers. Uh, what we're having here today is been sold. It's a uh, there's a brake caliper on this trailer here that's um, the caliper has been leaking. They said that they capped off the line so it's they still could have brakes on the other other axles um so i'm about ready to dig into here and find out what's all wrong with this um these calipers on these brakes they're pretty much the same gist of uh how do you uh, change out on a on out on a car um basic simple same stuff um these calipers on this trailer here are, are going to be dual pistons um, so you got to make sure that it's, uh, when you press back in the pistons, you got to press both of the pistons back in at the same time. Um, but uh, we'll go from here. And uh, right now I'm going to jack this trailer up and we'll uh, take off the tires and see what all damage is here. And then I'll go get the parts for it. Okay, so what we found out here is after I got the wheels, wheels off. So this is the caliper that thing that's all oily and everything so this caliper is held on by these two bolts here and then there's these brackets that that mount up against it well if you can see here that the bolt has shifted actually the plate has shifted it's kind of walled itself out so what has happened is that that caliper has moved forward and has dug in to that rotor yeah that paper thin on the back side yeah it's that's not good so I'm gonna have to pull off this caliper I'm gonna have to pull off the rotor but to pull off that rotor I gotta take the whole drum off so we're gonna have to replace the seal and break the bolts loose on the back side of this to pull the uh, pull the rotor off so, it's going to get a complete new brake job on this one. And so I'm about, about to go over and go get the parts for it. So as you can tell here, these calipers, you can see how that back brake shoe was wearing on there. I tore up this, this calipers, the pistons. And of course, this is leaking really badly. That piston shot right here. I can just pull it out if I wanted to, but I'm trying to keep it so that it doesn't pour out all the brake fluid. And then into yeah, the brake shoes. The front ones, they definitely need to be replaced, but I mean, at least they weren't tearing up the rotors. But this one, well, let's just say it's seen better days. And it's toast. So, Fun times. Okay, when I go to pick up parts for these goosenecks, I normally come to this company right up here. Oh, nationwide Trailers. Uh, the thing I like about them is they have pretty much any kind of parts that you really need. Um, see if I can get through here this crazy scenario way. Um, and also that they, uh, like especially on any PJ trailers you have, they can, uh, they can take the last eight VIN, last eight numbers off the VIN number and they can give you, uh, they can look up to your trailer if you, if you have a PJ, which makes it really nice, um, to be able to do that. Um. But anyway, so I'm about ready to run in here um, to go get the parts for these. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll see you later. So I got all the parts. Got a new disc brake. And I got the brake shoes. The new brake shoes, mounting bolts. And a new seal. 
the brand new caliper. Um, for a grand total of... So basically what we're saying is, you might want to, if you're going to be doing this stuff, make sure that you're, uh, instead of having to use all these parts, make sure you check your brakes um, quite often if you own one of these trailers and you're doing the repairs for it, because it can get expensive when it, all this stuff goes that way. But, all right, well, now I'm off to go get another part for another trailer, and I'm also i going to go see if I can uh, find a uh, an actual good press to, to press this uh, to press this seal in properly. Um, I used to have one, but I broke it. And what else is new? It's just the way it kind of goes. Hey, we're back. And uh, I'm going to have to take this I have to take this. I have to take this hub off that is mounted to this rotor. We have to take the, all that off so I can take the rotor off so we can put the new rotor on. And first, we're gonna take this little bad boy off first. But anyways, you get the point and we'll be right back. All right, so we got the cap off. Now we got to clean off all this grease around this, this outer nut, saddle axle nut. And then it's got this little carter pin in there. We have to get that carter pin out and then we'll loosen the Loosen up the nut, take the nut out, take the bearing out. After we do that, then we'll be able to pull the, the whole hub assembly. All right. This sometimes can be a chore to get these to straighten back up. Sometimes they're more of a chore than you think. Way more of a chore than you really want them to be. But sometimes it's just just the way it is so and plus it's not always easy doing this with one hand but it's all good showing you what you what you need to do no but I'll be right back to show you so it was not really that tight on there so I was able to hand break it loose so we're gonna just go around and take this nut off I really hate grease hubs because they're always just so messy but that's what these are and once I get it off I'll clean it up before I put it back on and we'll try to clean out as much of this other this other nasty grease that's in there and you see the bearing that's right here we gotta get that out first and then we'll be able to pull the hub so, I got everything all built up ready to go I got the new rotor got the new rotor I got the new seal in new bearing there's the hub the problem that we're running into now is the bearing has welded itself to the actual spindle oh it's gonna be that is some bad news in that case there's one of two options you can do either you can cut that spindle off and have someone weld a new one back on or you can uh, replace the whole axle um, I'm not really sure which one's cheaper which one's which one's more expensive but that's what is going on with this. So I'm at a standstill right now. This right here is the 
outer part of the back bearing so like it just missing the inside race that sits up on the spindle so I don't know what to do right now waiting for the company to tell me what they want um, so right now that's all we can do um, thanks for watching um, and please subscribe to AK Road Service uh, thank you very much Bye.